what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A few days ago, Brother Polite broke his silence on his acceptance of a guilty plea from sexual battery to aggravated child abuse and delinquency of a minor, for which he received seven years in prison. The question is, fam, do you believe that the prosecution got it right? Do you believe that Brother Polite is guilty or innocent? Thumbs up if you believe he is innocent. Thumbs down if you believe he's guilty. Up for innocent, down for guilty. I've been following this story for a while and I have been patient about speaking on it because y'all know how I go with these type of cases, fam. You got three sides to the story. His side, her side, and the truth. And for much of the time that I've been looking at the story, it's just been one side has been like only what we've heard polite speak on, right? Brother Polite made a video uh, explaining himself, uh, pretty much letting us know what really happened. At one point he made a video denying that that was ever a deal in the first place. But then he comes out with the video talking about how he was pretty much railroaded, like look, didn't really have a choice. So here's the story. He says that a woman calls him at two o'clock in the morning, asks him to take her 14 year old daughter to a party. He vehemently rejects her offer. Like what I look like a grown man taking some 14 year old who looks like a minor, who obviously looks like a minor to a party. And then he fast forwards and says, so she got drunk and, and she was high and the mother took her to the authorities. I guess because I didn't take her to the authorities then they charged me. Uh, insinuating that had he made the first move, had he been the one to take the, the drunk kid, the high kid to the authorities, then the mother would have been charged. But let me back up a little bit. He also said that when he broke up with the woman, the woman at that point in a text message told him that she was going to ruin his life. She's gonna ruin his life. So that's the motive, he said, that's the motive. And it's in the text messages. The question is, where are the text messages? Like, how come we haven't seen these text messages? Now we do know text messages can be altered, but you know, they got them forensic people, they can come in and they can determine whether or not the stuff was real or not. You know, because they don't have to look at screenshots. They can go into that phone and see what's happening for real. So it would be interesting to know where that is. But this is the part that gets me, fam. The man skipped over from, he skipped over from the, the saying that he would not take the child to, to uh, take the child out to a club to all of a sudden the child is drunk and high. And here's something else. Allegedly there's DNA, that was his DNA was on the child's clothing. But even bigger than that, now we know that DNA can be transferred illegally. We know that cops can plant evidence, right? Hell, people can plant evidence. We know that, right? And here's another thing. If that woman really told polite she was going to ruin his life before the incident ever even happened. Why would he put himself in a position to give her an opportunity by being around her daughter? 
It makes zero sense. But let's take it a step further. This is the one that gets me more than anything, fam. This gets me more than anything. We know that in this country, at least, sexual assault is pretty much as low as you can go. Like some people give you a pass for murder before they give you a pass for assaulting a child, sexually assaulting a child. If you are innocent, why put that on your record? I mean, why? Why put something like that on your record? Now we know we can go back to Michael Jackson case and stuff and say, well, why did he plea if he, if he wasn't guilty? Well, you know, we got Michael Jackson, you know, we talking about Brother Polite, a guy that's from the streets and he know the code, he in the streets, that's, right? Everybody from the streets know that is a no-no. And we know what comes with that, especially if you go to prison. Now, some of you are gonna say, hold on, Willie D, wait, 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 wait. Michael Jackson took a plea and you didn't believe Michael Jackson did it. Okay, what's the difference? The difference is evidence. And Michael Jackson, remember, he vehemently defended himself against those allegations the entire time. He never wavered. The kids' stories fluctuated, he kept on changing the story. And some of them actually totally admitted to lying. In this situation, there's some holes in Brother Polite's story. There's some holes in the story that cannot be ignored. Plus, Brother Polite is from the streets. Everybody from the streets, every dude out there within the sound of my voice know who are from the streets that you don't plea to harming a child. You do not take a plea to sexually assaulting a child if you did not do it. At least if I fight and I, I know I'm right, I ain't did nothing, and I fight, I got some get back. I got appeals. Brother Polite is a celebrity. If he's truly innocent, he'll get people to help him out. And some of them would do it pro bono. He'll get help. He can solicit help from all over the place. He'll get the resources that most guys won't even have. But the next step or a greater step is his reputation. I get to maintain my reputation, my honor. I'm not gonna have somebody walking around looking at me like that. Now, he's going to prison, but he don't have to register as a sex offender. Although he got 10 years probation when he get out and he has to take a sex offender course, which don't make any sense to me because if y'all didn't, if the prosecutor didn't hit him with the sexual assault charge, they're gonna hit him with a sexual crime, a sex crime. Why is he taking sex offender classes? It makes no sense to me, which lets me know that again, re reiterates what I've always said about this so-called judicial system, is that they really don't care about victims of sexual assault. They just want bodies. They just want warm bodies to fill up those prisons. They just want convictions. They really don't care nothing about that girl. They, they saw an opportunity to get another brother and they took it. Now, obviously, you know, all brothers ain't good brothers. And if dude really did what they're saying, he did and what I think he did, he deserved to go to prison. He did, everybody ain't supposed to be uh, amongst us and, and we ain't supposed to be cool with everybody. I ain't got no problem calling it what it is. I'm gonna call a strike a strike and a ball a ball. I know that he's fooled some of y'all. I know that he's been out there and he's doing this preaching and teaching and talking about black awareness and love the sisters and stuff like that, which I'm all for that. I'm all for all of that. But hey, man, when you're wrong, you're wrong. 
And I believe you're wrong. Like I say, I'm not just just jumping on this just because it's a story, because it was a story months ago and I never even spoke on it. But after watching that video, I just watched the video. After watching that video of him talking about it, come on, man, that don't even make sense. Brother Polite says he was talking to his lawyer and he was like, let's fight it, let's fight it. And the lawyer told him, I'm paraphrasing, in the state of Florida for aggravated child abuse, you can get up to 30 years in prison. And he said to the lawyer, all right, fuck it, man, let's just take the deal. Come on, fam. Come on. Uh-uh. I ain't rocking like that. I'm going to deal with that. I, I would deal with that all the way. And I would, if, if they were to convict me of something, I would eventually win on appeals and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to bankrupt the state. Now, we know people lie. People lie all the time. Could the mother and the daughter be lying? Yeah, yeah, could be. But I think Brother Polite is lying. I think he's lying. That's why he took that plea. And they changed the plea from the sexual battery to child abuse and delinquency because that looks a little better when you go into prison. Also, I think he's doing it like that to set himself up for when he gets out, he don't have to be registered and people are not calling him a convicted child sexual predator. That's what I think. But what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>